Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy, until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they can afford to lose. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. What kind of merchandise do you carry? The latest in biotic upgrades and Omni-Tool modifications. Very high quality. Sometimes I even get special items in. No promises, of course. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. 
Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. Commander Shepard, Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You're threatening to flay people alive now? Oh, that. That was just a customer unhappy with the information he received. He'll pay. They always do. Ever since I helped you stop Saren, people have wanted to be my friend, or not be my enemy. I've set up a respectable business as an information broker. It's paid the bill since you... well... for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. 
But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the architectural... I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh -huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh. And then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. This is not acceptable. Oh, my face! Foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I'm new at the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk but you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. 
Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachnat Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Loved showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about his getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Well, what happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. I told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Mendwar, Eden Prime, Pharos. It's been like that forever. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. So then he says, 
Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different, so it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then, I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. I appreciate the gesture. But my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... Limber. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but... I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay. That makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I'd feared. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay. You see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them. And you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm, I, I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait, you don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. performance requirements. Certainly, sir. Safe, too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us.
She won't even talk to me. I don't know. She really has it in for humans. That might explain the damn contract. You're Shepard? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zoo's Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous Geth attack, and from the Thorian creature's control. Too many people died in the fighting for us to save the colony. It's still better than being a slave to the Thorian, though. Where did the survivors go after Zoo's Hope shut down? Most of us stayed together and went back to Earth. Run down, but familiar. We needed familiar faces. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. What brings you to Ilium? We've had health trouble, probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. Tell me more about the contract you signed to have these scans done. Baria Frontiers offered to do medical scans for next to nothing. Said they'd just use anything interesting they found in us. But there's a line we missed about how if they find something, they can do follow-up procedures as they see fit, without our consent. They can't actually force these procedures upon you. This is Ilium. They have contracts for just about everything you can imagine. If we don't take the tests, they'll declare us in breach of contract. We can't afford the legal fees they could hit us with. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? We get these headaches, like we did when the Thorian was controlling us, and muscle twitches, nerve damage maybe. And sometimes we can feel each other. I can tell when someone nearby is in pain. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analysts should look it over. 
You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters work with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh... I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. I just received the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. I don't know what we would have done without you. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours, plus overtime. I'm telling you, relax. Thax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. Talk to Werner and I'm gone, I swear.
This should come in handy. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Clips might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? Don't even start with me. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. All blue rows of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that will uproot it. What do you want? <sighs> sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well... We're on a break, and he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids, he can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Listen, he's a Krogan. Any talk about kids is gonna mess him up. I know. You can't talk to Krogan about the genophage. I get so angry. If you settle down with him, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering if he was after you or kids. Yeah, you're right. I guess I needed to hear somebody else say it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help.
You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is? He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is, given his resources. There's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Wait a minute. Are you working for the Shadow Broker? No. Actually, I'm planning to kill him. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike, and we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Navacorp has been implicated in a massive financial scandal with authorities investigating a number of trading irregularities. Navacorp executives did not immediately respond to requests for clarification. A Navacorp press release explained the charges on a smear campaign orchestrated by competitors.
Why not? I did it after eating crime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. You're insane. This is the best you have, I'll make do. <sighs> but you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? <sighs> Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home, sir. <sighs> oh. <sighs> do you? your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? You should really give them a call. No, I'm gonna do it. My life is too long to deal with it. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. We'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat even. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I... I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Sweet, but I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Turian and Gorian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... what? Oh yeah, standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh here, let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Ugh. A little space, please. Alright. 
Let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to 116,420 credits. Oh, of course. I, uh... I just need to make a call. I should, uh... Check the warranty first. Loser. Life can be uncertain. That's why you need an Omni-Gel programming solution that works. Whether constructing single-use equipment or breaking down salvaged gear, Cision technology Shepard, will be there Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixera's had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nexeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nexeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information. Peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? I'm still waiting. Still hunting. The Shadow Broker can't hide forever. Even with Nyxeris dead, it could be years before I track the Shadow Broker down. But someday he'll slip up. And I'll be there. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Dry up. Just watch. So, so, 